Greetings, everybody. This is Zombie. You want to welcome back to Let's Play Zam X Doomsday. This is actually going very smoothly so far, and I've only had to heal once, and it was through a mystery potion. I technically could have used a medical kit, but I didn't feel like it. I really don't need that. Even if I don't have much now, I'll get it back. Let's see, 250. This should give me like 800. Okay, I got him. Don't kill him. Gotta get the bonus. Surprise the bob, the bob, the blob didn't spawn on me. Spawn, no. If I can say it right. Just in case, please don't kill any of my victims. You don't really need to use the reed whacker. If you just do that, then you're good. Get off me, please. I think I'm about to get blobbed. Okay, never mind. I probably don't need this, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up anyway. I've got the ghost effect or zombie effect. Ah, why? Why you gotta do this to me? Da da. So far, I haven't lost any single. This there. So far, I haven't lost a single victim. I tried to do it to the song, but that that didn't end well. <laughs> the mushroom man. The room mush man. Be careful if you make bonus levels if you're making a hack. Don't set secret bonus on. I think secret bonus has to be checked for you to access the bonus level. It probably doesn't. I think at one point I experimented and you actually don't have to have it on. But if you're going to have a bonus level, if secret bonus is still checked, don't put a secret icon or have alt and cheerleaders at a level. You'll repeat the bonus level until you lose a victim. Or in this case, if you pick up the secret icon, if it's that type of bonus level, and for some reason you want to have it in it. Da, 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 da. I like listening to these songs, but ever since I worked on the little changes I did to the game, I don't hear the songs the same anymore. Like, I do, but actually knowing part of the technical know-how and how the songs are made, certain instruments and stuff like that. It just doesn't feel the same when you listen to the songs. But they're still good to listen to. I love them. Who knew? Like 2004 or 5 or so, and I would end up making my own hacks and games in a way up to this in doing what I do. Funny how life works. I normally lose. I normally use cokes, but I don't have very many. And I mean, I don't mind using them. But what I'm gonna do when I run out? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I could lose the soldier to the Chucky doll doing this. Luckily, I did. That was technically very stupid of me. If I really wanted to save that soldier, I would have actually really used the cheat and treat. But I'm. Reckless when I don't no hit run. When no hit running, I am very careful, but reckless. When not no hit running, I am one of the most reckless players you'll ever see play a game. <laughs> Should have 33 cups when we pick this up. Yep. The 
it's my tin soldier. Why aren't y'all spawning? That's a little strange. It's like they're spawning, but usually when you go up here, they spawn like there's no tomorrow. Right? That was just a little strange. Ah, weed's gone bad. Where the red fern growls. The curse of Dr. Tongue. Those are all going to be some very lovely levels. Though I think actually the curse of Dr. Tongue is level 48. I get 44 and 48 confused sometimes. Don't normally do that, but might as well this time. Okay. That's another thing. A lot of people said I should have decreased the enemy's life and stuff like that and balanced out how the levels play more, but if you know certain tile tricks and enemy like stuff technically like the Chainsaw Maniacs, ways of killing them easier and stuff, and you know the secrets to them, it's not that hard of a hack, but the ammo can still be a pain. Pretty much when you play Doomsday, it's meant for you to have learned secrets, either through other hacks or even the original game, which it does do some things the original game didn't, but if you played some other hacks, they also didn't do it until Doomsday, because I've noticed some hacks have used some design from Doomsday, and I don't mean like level design, I mean like a certain, like items behind doors at the very top or blow up spots kind of design. Um, you pretty much have to play the other hacks, learn all the secrets, or even just the original game and learn almost everything. But certain things like that in Doomsday, you learn through playing that. I need to kill you because you're gonna ruin everything. I got him anyway, football player, dude. Please do not kill her. Please do not kill her. Since I'm not no hit running, I don't have to worry. However, I still need to be careful through here. Please, can y'all stop that? Stop. You're, I'm gonna lose the cheerleader because of this. Since I usually have a huge horde of weapons playing the original, it's going to be a little different because it's this, but I still have a, a, maybe a little horn? Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and just open this door. No one likes you. Except Joseph K. He loves the Martians. <laughs> That's a joke. I'm being very sarcastic. Star? I'm being very sarcastic when I say that. Leave me be, boy. Joseph K's favorite enemy, I think, has to either be the clones or spring, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with clones. You might actually have another one, but I'm pretty sure it's the clones. I don't know, I like a lot of enemies, and I really like being evil with the enemies as well. But that's one of my favorite things when it comes to hacking, because I like that people enjoy my hacks, but also when working on a hat, if I'm looking at a hard hat, it just feels so good to be so evil knowing how people are going to react playing. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but it just... I feel bad, but at the same time, like I said, it, feel, it feels good to be evil when you work on certain things like that. <laughs> you're like, okay, so... People play this, they're not going to expect the Chainsaw Maniac or the Vampire to be placed right here. They're not going to expect an enemy to just randomly pop out of the wall and, like, go straight into the soul of the victim and annihilate them in obliteration. Okay, that's not the room with the cross, it's this one. My main focus is to actually save the people who die very easily. I 
could save some keys, but I'm just, again, focusing on the victims. Victims and my survival, that's all I really want. Dracula, you missed. You missed again. He won't miss this time. Oh, he missed again. He got me. He finally got me. Congratulations. Congratulations again. Can you get off of my back, please? Don't jump in there with her. Please don't kill her. Thank you. I didn't get the cross, which I still need to get. Why not? Just go ahead and use it. Should be this room. Aha! I don't need you killing any of my victims. I won! So far, so good. And I have two speed shoes. I plan on using one in 13. Unless I utilize restrictions. I may utilize restrictions. Just in case I'm not going to be happy about that. <laughs> but I'm going to use them anyway. No offense. I say that because there's two victims in this. This is... The game's already difficult. If you go by standards of back then and technically nowadays, the game is very difficult. But here's a point on pretty much where the game becomes unfair in a way because it's randomized. You do not know where a certain enemy is going to spawn because it's set to either spawn by a teacher or by a tourist couple. But the worst victims are probably in the top right. But the second worst victims are almost the worst victims to save are the cheerleaders in the top left of the level. They are pretty much doomed to die unless you get lucky. Even if you do get lucky... I mean by the monster not spawning, but you also have to get lucky with their jumps, because there's a chance that they'll spawn and they'll be like, I'm going to eat you, and then they jump, and they don't die, or they die after, because they either land on the zombie, or they land and the zombie goes and eats them. But it's pretty much luck-based, so that's pretty much it. If you've watched up to this point of the video, thank you, and if you enjoy watching my videos, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell to know when I upload. This is Zombie101 saying, have a wonderful day, and catch you later.